The GitLens extension recently added an interactive rebase editor that walks you through the rebase process and adds some useful context and tools for rebasing. Let's take a look at this. Now, here I already have the GitLens extension installed, and I've also configured VS Code to be the default Git editor by editing my global Git config. Now, here in the integrator terminal, I'm going to start a rebase. So I'm going to go in here and say Git rebase. I'm going to do it interactively, and I'm going to rebase onto the master branch here. So I'll just start a rebase in the terminal. And you can see that VS Code has now opened up this new file, and this is actually coming from the GitLens extension. This is the interactive rebase editor. So I'm going to get a little bit more space here. So you can see it's listing off all of the various commits here, and it's showing the title of each of these commits, the commit ID, who made the commit, when the commit was made. And then it's the same controls you would get in the normal text-based rebase editor. So you can see over here, I can go through for each of the commit messages and choose what I want to do with them. So I could say, I want to pick this commit, or I could go and squash it, or I could um, even go and reorder these commits if I wanted to just by dragging and dropping here. So I can go and control what is actually going to happen on the rebase. So this is sort of emulating what you would get with the basic text editor, where you can go through and change the letters to control what operations are going to be performed. Now, that's just a more visual representation of that uh, Git rebase editor. But the real cool thing and the most useful feature I find of this interactive rebase editor is that it also allows you to explore the rebase that is going on. So say I was interested in what is going on with the, this commit here, for example. I can just go over to the commit ID and then click on it. And you can see that now a command palette has opened up, and this is allowing me to now further interact with this commit. So let's say I wanted to actually see what the contents of this commit were. I could just browse down here and say, open all changes. And now VS Code has gone and opened up the changes that we're actually making up this commit. And you can use the other commands in the list to explore the commit in different ways. But now you can actually see a diff going on here that is showing all of the changes that were made as part of this commit. And I could browse through this and decide, hey, I actually want to drop this commit, or I could decide what to do based on what uh, GitLens is showing me here. This extra information can be really helpful when you're dealing with a more complicated rebase. Now, once you have everything in order, so you've gone and reordered the commits, you've changed them to be squashes or whatever you want to actually do here, you can just go and click on the big blue button down at the bottom here that says Start Rebase, and that will perform the rebase itself. If you want to disable the interactive rebase editor and just have the standard text-based one, you can also go and click over here, and that will go and disable the interactive rebase editor for the future.